one thing that you can do to your piece of property and have consistent action from the little things all the way up to the big things, and I'm talking about wildlife species, yeah. is to put a water hole slash vernal pool, you know, yeah. to, on your piece of property. Yeah. It is consist consistent action, and it's it's just it adds so much to your piece of property. Mm -hmm. The common theme to a lot of our videos is, you know, producing life, you know, uh, diversifying, and, and and so on. But this right here covers all of it. Yeah. It covers all of it. Yeah, this little water hole, it creates so much life, exactly like you said, and it is far and away not even close. This is my favorite part of our entire piece of property for that reason. Mm -hmm. There's so much life at this water hole. As we've been setting up the camera and getting ready to do this video, there's been a little green frog like poking his yeah. head up and out of the way. There he is. <laughs> He is right there. I think the the reason why that I enjoy this place so much is because of all the wildlife that benefit from it, that I can observe as a result of it, that I can hunt come that part of the year. But, you know, I've said it a handful of times, especially with white-tailed deer, but all wildlife in general, I, I care more about wildlife than I care about hunting them. And this gives me a great opportunity to observe wildlife with a trail camera or to set up a blind and shoot photos and video to enjoy wildlife like that little green frog who's becoming our little buddy for this video to learn from wildlife. I mean, there was a, a trail camera video I got last spring, and I've gotten some this spring as well, of, of turkey hens out in the water, and they kinda, they're kind of like kicking up yeah. you know, the, the soil underneath. Yep. And it's like, you know, are they disturbing? You know, are they kicking up tadpoles? Are they bugging? Like, I've never All seen that. Above. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen that type of behavior before because of this water hole and that trail camera. I learned something new about that. And yeah, all wildlife species, everything Virginia has to offer has found its way to this little water hole. Deer, obviously, all kinds of songbirds. One of my favorite video clips is of a decent sized black bear. Oh yeah. Last summer, it was super hot, mid to late July. Like he comes right where we're standing and just completely submerges himself in the water for, yeah. for a couple minutes. Takes a bath. Big relief. My mom said as she was watching it, like, isn't it a great feeling to know that you provided like relief for that animal, yeah. you know, as a result of, of, I wish I could say that this was hard work, but it was actually created by accident, but still. <laughs> and that's the thing. These things, they are not complicated. Yeah. You know, you can use all sorts of equipment and don't let your limitations of that equipment, you know, limit you from providing this. Right. If that made sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, whatever you have. Yeah. Uh, you guys created this. So this is a little indentation yeah. and you used your back blade. Mm -hmm. You know, that you drive. <laughs> yeah, you do your driveway with. Yeah, we got a little 25 horsepower tractor and this you know water hole like i said was created by accident when we had a logger come in here he cleared out this area with the dozer and luckily we got a lot of rain the night after he cleared it and then you know a bunch of water pulled up right here and asked you i was like do you think this would be a good spot for a water hole you're like heck yeah and then that afternoon my dad and i came up here and again this old 35 year old 25 horsepower ford tractor with a back blade that we used to push yeah. snow we dug it out a little further made it a little bigger and the result from that just little bit of work it's yeah. all of this life. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can, if you have a skid steer, you have a, a mini track. Um, if you're having a dozer, um, which we created one with a dozer, yeah. um, with my fine excavating skills. But uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, so it's 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 endless what you can do, and to do these multiple all over your property. I mean, you can even rent, do some homework. You can rent these things for eight hours for practically nothing. It's actually more expensive to have it delivered <laughs> as the use utilize. So, but you know, they are so valuable. Yeah. And like the video that Cody was talking about, you said all the Virginia species almost, and the behavior that you you learn from the turkeys, the hens half strutting with yeah. that hawk, I believe it was, yep. you know, the water hole created that environment so you can see how ant wildlife behaves. Absolutely. You know, yeah. but the wildlife that uses this alone, you know, um, from Jefferson salamanders, you know, um, uh, 
frogs. Yeah. You know, um, there's wood. For, it, it, yeah. I have some, tr again, that trail camera video of doe that walks in front that triggers it. And in the background, you can see uh, 17 little sets of eyes and the frogs are just singing their little hearts out. The sound's almost deafening yeah. and all as a result of this. And it's, this is its own ecosystem. Yeah. You know, we talk about like our property is 190 acres and we got clear cuts, food plots, this, that, and the other. But this for the species that live here, like this is their home. Yeah. That frog, like this is his, I mean, you know, a little, I'm sure he ventures out <laughs> sometimes he goes for a walk about, but you know what I mean? This, this little yeah. water hole is its own ecosystem. Yeah. And what's neat to piggyback on that, there's an ecosystem on top of ecosystem and on top of that we don't even comprehend nor we have the knowledge to understand. There's a reason why salamanders are using this. Yeah. And there's, there's reasons X, Y, and Z that they're eating, uh, laying eggs here, right. frogs. So there's another type of environment why it's here. Yeah. You know, the turkey's scratching in the water. Yeah. There's a reason why they did that for that species that they can bug on or Maybe they wanted to wash their feet. I don't know. But anyway, so, but the bear, you know, it's like a million reasons why these things are so valuable, very easy to do. Yeah. Um, and it's just the inventory in wildlife. I mean, we could go on and on and on how valuable these things are. Yeah, I'm, I'm so thankful for this this water hole, this part of the property for the wildlife reasons that we that we just touched on. I mean, it, it's a great hunting upper, a uh, great hunting setup during the fall for deer, for sure. Mm -hmm. I love to hunt here because of the water and its attraction, but you, I observe so many songbirds and just watching deer drink from the water hole is so cool. But even wildlife aside, this is a great, water holes are a great tool to introduce kids to the outdoors, to get them involved and teach them about nature and get them interested in wildlife. My nephew just turned three years old. Every time we come up here, like as soon as he gets off the side by side, this, this area is, there's a lot, it's very rocky. Like he picks up as many rocks as he can carry and he just runs up here and just starts chucking them into the water hole. And it's, you see this smile on his face that's, it's contagious for one and you, you just appreciate it because yep. this water hole is a vehicle for me to kind of and whether he becomes interested and passionate about conservation wildlife remains to be seen but this water hole is a great vehicle a great stepping stone to introduce him to the outdoors Absolutely. i remember we he and i were looking for back during the spring he and i were looking for tadpoles and i was pointing out tadpoles and i was explaining to him why maybe it's not a good idea to always throw rocks <laughs> at tadpoles because this is where they live you know this is their home but yeah. so many teachable moments and yeah. a smile that you can't replace and that what you just said there is so important i hope everybody listened to what cody was saying because kids today um you know we want them to hunt. We want them to love the species that they're hunting and get appreciation like we do for the outdoors, yeah. you know, and conservation. But we have to start changing the mentality. We preach about it on a podcast and, and social media that maybe we need to start directing ourselves to just teaching, yeah. just teach. If they hunt, absolutely slam dunk, but teaching, I mean, doing what you did, letting, letting them throw rocks, letting them, pointing out tadpoles and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, all that is such, like you said, a vehicle to even more, yeah. hopefully, if we do it correctly. So that's important. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, there's exit. I, I'm so thankful for this, this little spot. I enjoy it so much from hunting to just overall wildlife enjoyment and observation, watching my nephew go crazy, throwing rocks at it. I mean, the, and, and the result or the reasons why are because of it, it's, it's so much life. It's a life creator. Yeah. And there's a lot of, a lot of things that can that replace this out there in the industry, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, tanks and stuff like that. Those are, there's nothing wrong with putting a tank in and filling it with water you know, to have a hunting situation. And, you know, obviously it's a value of wildlife utilizing it, sure. but it, it's, it's such a limiting thing for all wildlife. When you could do this and provide the same thing, the same hunting aspect of it, the same, you know, utilization, but it stops, yeah. it stops. It's, it, yeah. It's good, not great. No, it's good, but not great. And so this, this to me is great. And the good thing about this is I don't have to fill it up. You don't have to fill it up and it doesn't have to be filled all the time. Yeah. It's gonna be seasonal and don't panic. But what's real quick, 
is that when you do notice that there might be leaking problems, it's such an easy fix. You go get some bentonite, and all, that's what happened here. Mm -hmm. it's kind of maybe a slow leak from all the rock chucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm blaming it on my three year old. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's exactly it. It, it, it kind of had a slow leak last summer, fall. It wasn't holding water like it had in its first year. And I mean, a 50 pound bag of bentonite, which actually may have been a little bit too heavy for this small of an area, but we had what we had. And I mean, yeah, it, this- It's filled and it ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. So, but good stuff. Absolutely. That little frog right there, he's become our little buddy. He learned something today. He learned something today. But as it is for us, and as it is for that little green frog right there, wildlife is our way of life.